Hi, welcome to my blog, A Chief's Wife's Hearts of Fire. I'm the Chief's Wife, and I'm back with another post here to tell you about travel doll sets. I made these doll houses. Two of these are for a fundraiser for a Christian camp that we're having a retreat at this weekend, and I'll be attending. I came up with the idea of having two of them for the auction to help raise the funds. But, uh, naturally, I made myself a couple of them, and I'd like to show you how I did this. Now, each of these folds up so that it's like a book, and originally I wanted it to be a purse. It didn't work out quite that way because I wanted them to be able to stand up. And after, there you go, you flatten it out, and you'll be able to see that each has a pocket that will end up giving you some room for all those extra little things as well as the velcros and the hangers are permanently on there. Now you're going to ask how I ended up measuring for the dollhouse with your original brown paper lunch bag. There you go. You can see exactly where the folds are and where the excess is cut off. And all I did was make my own paper covering it. Just use the same measurements, cover it with the paper, and you end up getting a little bit of a padding in there. Now, as far as the dolls themselves, let's move this out of the way for a second. I used the Sizzix doll body and several of the dies that I use. This is just a sampling of them, but I think I made each of these outfits for it. I use the firemen and the policemen and the graduation the most because there's a lot of different things you can make out of each of those outfits. And then you have extra little items in there that you can switch back and forth with the boy or a girl or make it into whichever gender you need. Now, the dress can be lengthened and you'll see in just a second how I lengthened it out to a wedding dress also. And the boy outfit for the board, you can use it for both the boy and girl. In fact, a lot of these things are interchangeable for boy or girl. So just when you go to pick out your dies, make sure you're picking out something that you can use for other things too along the way. And you'll see in just a second where I took the firefighter outfit to make a jacket and used the police die for the shirt inside the jacket and the pants just as regular pants. Okay, here we'll start with the dolls themselves. And at Walmart you will find that they have little, tiny, almost see-through Velcro. If you can see that close up. And I put the soft part onto the doll, and the doll is made of a very stiff cardboard, which is chipboard. I doubled it up and then used a stiff cardboard for the top layer when you can put your stamp on there. Or you can do like I do, print them out and then cut them out. You get the right coloring for a human being or whatever. You can make darker human, light human, whatever you want. I'm not into all that. I just make dolls. Now, I didn't make any hair for the one sets because we asked a couple of kids who were with us camping while I was putting this together. And I said, would you put hair on this? And they said, no. Oh, okay. There you go. Kid tested. So anyway, my idea was that the kids come dressed already in their pajamas or sleeping attire, and then we take off the t-shirts and you can dress them up. Okay, here you go. Here is... Sorry about that. We'll start with the little groom outfit. The shoes are from the graduation set because they look more like the old time 1980s, 1990s shoes that we used to rent with our tuxes for the guys. And the shirt on the inside is made, again, with the policeman shirt. And here we go, the bride, which was really fun to do. I just took little pieces of 
ribbon and the cardboard. Now this was the graduation hat and again her shoes are down here. Oh, here we go. The shoes are from the dress outfit. Now I'll show you that in some ways when you start piling all this stuff on top of each other I found that glossy accents wasn't exactly holding it all together and making it puffy enough to look like a wedding dress. So believe it or not I used white duct tape. There you go, there's a plug for you. And the whole point was for this to be like color forms so that the outfits would stick. This Velcro that I found is very, very tiny and thin, and it was in the paper items at Walmart. It happened to be perfect. And let me see if I have a package of them here. These just work so wonderfully. And you can see where for the shoes I cut them into short slices here to be able to fit exactly each piece as I needed. Now other outfits for these dolls will include matching outfits such as the boy outfit. All I did for the overalls was make them into different colors. This is out of the Tim Holtz coordinations and all I did was took a little bit of a sanding down on it and it made it look like washed out denim. Okay, now I did make my own hair. And in this case, this would be my younger Purdue couple. And this would be my older Ivy Tech couple. My firefighter captain son and his girl. And the other hair would be, of course, my husband, my fire chief, and myself. I know, I'm going to get a lot of groans over this. I just know it from my kids. But I had a lot of fun coming up with all of these outfits and things. And you're not going to believe, but some of these such as the pants and shirt I also put together. I used the tassel to make the tie. There's lots of different ideas you can come up with this, so you don't need that many outfits to come up with some really cool outfits for dolls. Okay, here's another take on this. That's why I didn't like the sewed on there. It sticks to everything. This one is just for me, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack from my friends, and that's okay, but this is cool. I decided to make a fire station. Now, of course, I couldn't get away from it because my own fire chief. And again, each of the dollhouses has little pockets that can put all the little things in, and I used Tim Holtz old jalopy to make the fire truck with. Just cut out the back part of the old jalopy. I wanted to make a squad, but it didn't exactly turn out like that. And the second part is my husband drives the big red. So I kind of got it mixed up a little bit. But the Johnny and Roy jokes I do, I'm Johnny, he is Roy. So I decided to make it into this. And they've even got the little paramedic jacket. Each of the dollhouses comes with sets to put the outfits on here, or they'll fit into here. And as you'll find them already packed, each will come with them in plastic bags. There you go. I hope you can come up with your own ideas for this. This is just something that I did myself. In fact, I've got one more doll set to go because I have two kids and I want them each to have one. For my grands, not for my kids. There's another plug for you. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this. More than that, I hope you try it yourself. Bye-bye.